Warning, Superpower Review is intended for a mature viewing audience. This video may show images that are not suitable for kids under 13 years old. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on everybody? It's Kevin Virginia here for Super Power Review and welcome to today's show. On today's show, I'm going to be showing you guys my top five most valuable comics in my comic book collection. But I am not alone today. I am joined by my guest, DJ Links. What's up, buddy? D DJ Links. What's <laughs> going on, Kev? Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. I greatly appreciate it, brother. No problem, man. So DJ is going to be showing off his t uh, top five most valuable comics as well. But before we continue the show, I just want to let you guys to know if you guys could please, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be giving three lucky winners three slabs once the channel reaches 2,000 subscribers. Hold on, let me get that other one up. Bam! Look at that sexiness, all right? So make sure you subscribe to the channel, show your support. And make sure you subscribe to my guest's channel as well, and all of his information is in this video's description down below. All right, man, let's get into it, huh? Yeah, buddy. So, uh, should I go first? Yeah, you go first. You're the guest. This first book, just a little story real quick with the book. I found this at uh, my LCS. They had it for 80 bucks, so I picked it up. Uh, the guy said that it was going to be a 9.2. So this was the first book that I bought raw and sent it off to CGC. And I'm pleas I was pleasantly surprised when I looked up the value yesterday. Yeah. And uh, the last book sold on eBay was six eighty five, and that's going to be Savage She Hulk number one. Ooh, nice! So, I, I was super surprised that it went up this high, and it's um, close to that seven hundred dollar mark. So and it's, it's Savage She Hulk number one. It's pretty hard to get those white covers on uh, uh, to get a nine point eight. So that's pretty. Uh, that's that's pretty awesome right there. Yeah, I, I thought for sure that it wasn't going to come back a nine point eight. Like even in the back, there's. Um, there's like a little pink, I guess, an uh, ink bleed, mm. but I, I was I was stoked, and even more stoked that it uh, went up so much in value. Because when I had I originally got it, it um, I think it was going for 400, because that's when the show or there was specula speculation that the show was going to be announced, and then the show was announced shortly after that. Awesome. So uh, my number five. I'm going to go with my New Mutants number 98. Uh, this is CGC graded at a 9.8. This is the first appearance of Deadpool. And um, if you guys don't know this story, I'll say it once, once again on the channel. But this was uh, one of those uh, lucky hits that I got when I paid for a 9.6, submitted to CGC to get a press and a clean, and it came back that 9.8, and I couldn't believe it. So uh, this is my number five, and this book is valued about 900 bucks right now oh so. that's awesome man yeah so that's i thought i thought that new mutants 98 was going to be my number five pick and i already had it put to the side and then when i looked up the value of that savage shield number one i was like what yeah yeah so some it's of my a... books in my pile actually uh have increased in value since i bought them as well which is pretty pretty uh crazy because you know i was looking up the prices and i'm like wow that's that's valued at that now like wow holy cow i didn't i didn't even think of it so yeah cool all right so moving on to my next one and this is where we're going to start to have some overlap. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129, the first appearance of Punisher. And this is a graded out of 5.0, white pages. And it's last sold on eBay for $9.75. Nice. So I, well, I'm not going to say how much I paid for it, but yeah, first appearance of Punisher. Classic, classic book. 5.0, hopefully one day I can graduate to a better grade. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... So, and uh, that's pretty funny because you said overlap and uh, happens to be my number four is the same book as yours. And uh, this one I just got for my B-Day. So this is, again, Amazing Spider-Man number 129, first appearance of The Punisher. Uh, mine's a 7.5 with off-white to white pages. And this is valued about 1100 bucks. So cool. Wow. Bam. That's, that's so amazing and happy uh, belated. Again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. So that was a quick number four. <laughs> yeah. So then I guess my number three book, Ooh. Amazing Spider-Man 300, first Ooh. appearance of Venom, first appearance, uh, yeah, Venom. Uh, at a 9.6, I cheaped out and didn't get the 9.8 uh, white pages. The value on this is about uh, 1,045 bucks. I picked this up and then you're gonna see my number uh, two book. I bought these the same day and it almost caused my divorce. So I went to a con. <laughs> 
I went to a con and just picked up these two books. I was like, I'm leaving with something. I'm leaving with something. And I, I sure did leave with something. So my number three is uh, also an, another book that um, I wanted to get uh, this year. And uh, this is a big character for me. This is a House of Secrets number 92. This is the first appearance of Swamp Thing. And this is graded wow. at a 7.5. And this has off-white off -white pages, just off-white pages. It adds to the creepiness, the off-white pages. I didn't, want to, I, I didn't want enough white in here. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, this, uh, this is one of the books in my collection that has jumped up since I bought it. And uh, this book is going for about 1400 bucks with the grade uh, right now, which is uh, that pretty significant from when I bought it. And um, Shout out to uh, Matt, the boy who had seven. Uh, I picked it, picked this up from his collection. And I don't know about you, DJ, but uh, when you buy something from a person from the community, don't don't you think it's like maybe like a little bit special? Like, oh, this was this person. This was my friends, and I have it now. I don't know. Yeah, no, absolutely. I definitely agree. And the thing that you want to do, whether it's comic books or hot toys, as you can see behind me, I have a bunch of hot toys. When you get something from a community member, I'm a member of. Um, some six scale forms as well, you know everything is gonna be taken care of. So it's not like you, you're you grabbing something that's underneath like a milk crate or something like that. When Once you get, get something from a community member, you know it's taken care of and it's uh, gonna be in good condition. Right, right. All right, man, so uh, you're, this is gonna be your number two? This is my number two. And like I said, I bought this the same day as that amazing Spider-Man 300. Yeah. And this is Incredible Hulk 181. Oh. Man. First appearance of uh, Wolverine, uh, graded at a CGC graded at a 6.0, cream to off white pages. The last one sold for 2,900 bucks. What? So this is yeah, this is you know this is one of those books that everybody wants in their collection. It's one of the hottest um, books, first appearances. Come on, it's Wolverine. So this is I, this is one of the books that never loses value. I've never ever seen it like dip. Yeah, and that book continues to rise, man. It it just keeps going up and up. And that will be a really big book. I mean, it's a big book already, but, you know, I yeah. think like five years from now, that book will be even more or uh, less unattainable, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. I think once, um, like, all the X-Men characters get folded into the MCU and you start seeing them pop up on screen, that book is going to be crazy. Yeah, crazy. for sure, for sure. And, uh, again, some overlap. Uh, mine is just... A off of a shade of a label than yours. Yours is blue. Mine happens to be green. And uh, this was uh, the last year's uh, B Day gift. So mine's uh, a 6.0 nice. qualified grade. It is missing the Marvel value stamp, but I could care less about that stamp. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. I don't care about that stamp. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm in it for, for Wolverine and that epic battle. And uh, so this is my copy. Uh, this is probably hands down one of my favorite books in my collection, to be honest. Uh, this is like uh, a huge grail of mine. When I was uh, into collecting in high school, and you know, most of these books on the table I would have never imagined owning in high school. And like, I was yeah. like, man, I'll never be able to own a book like that. And I, I don't know what the prices were back then when I was in high school, but even then I was like, man, that's crazy money for, for a book. But uh, this book uh, in this... Uh, this one has has gone up in price a little bit in value since I bought it as well. This one's going for about fourteen hundred dollars with the qualify label. So that's a huge, huge difference from the qualify green label to the uh, universal yeah. blue label. Yeah, still, still a dope book. Whether it's the green label, blue label, yellow label, purple label, <laughs> you want to pick this book up. <laughs> And uh, like I said before, this is my number two, and uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section. It's kind of a toss-up. My, my number two and my number one, I would kind of say, is almost the same in value. Like I said, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. So, all right, dude, let's see it. Let's see that number one. All right. Let's drum roll. So my number one, um, it's off-white pages, graded CGC 8.5, and it's going to be Avengers number four. So the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Hey. This is a monster, monster book. Definitely the biggest gray out of all my collection. Like I have a bunch, a bunch of nonsense here. This thing is insane. Yeah. Um, my wife got this for me for Christmas that just passed. So wow. I, I was on the verge of divorce with the uh, Incredible Hulk 181 <laughs> and the <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man, and then she hits me with this. So now. I didn't find uh, 8.5 on eBay to get the value, but the last one sold was an 8 that I saw, which was the highest grade. And that 
uh, came in at 5K. So I'm assuming this is valued somewhere between uh, 5K and 6K. Wow. And that, this, is, this is a monster book. Like when I was happy on Christmas. That is beautiful. Like Absolutely beautiful. So, is that, uh, that's uh, Jack Kirby, right? On the cover? Yeah. Yes, uh, Stanley Story, Jack Kirby, and George Russo's cover and art. First Silver Age appearance of Captain America. And then you got your uh, Samaritan appearance there. Nice. Monster, mon monster book. Beautiful, beautiful, man. All right, guys. So my number one, um, and we already saw this book in this video. Of course, I couldn't go. And this book makes uh, multiple appearances on the show all the time. But I got to go uh, with my Amazing Spider-Man number 300, the first appearance of Venom. Um, like I said, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you think uh, this should be more valued. I couldn't find anything on a last sold price or on Go Collect, uh, but this one happens to be triple signed. It's signed by Stan Lee, Todd McFarlane, David Michelini, and it's also uh, quoted by David Michelini. We are Venom. It's graded at 9.4. First appearance of Venom, one of my favorite characters, and I just think this book wow. is absolutely gorgeous. That's that's insane. That, <laughs> that triple sign. <laughs> that's insane. I had saw a book and it, it wasn't even a big key like that. I think it was because um, I have Civil War number one and it's signed by Stan Lee. So you know how it has the image up front and it's the white bottom and beautiful Stan Lee signature underneath that. So then I had saw a triple sign one, um, Stan Lee and I forgot the other two artists. Um, and that was going for three grand. So I'm assuming that's somewhere it has to be up there, especially that it's a key book. Hmm. Stan Lee and Tom McFarlane. That's insane. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I want to say, like, because uh, in my last video, it came in at number one. And again, like I said, this has gone up since I've done my last video. A link to that video is in this video's description down below. But uh, this has gone up a little more, but I, I can't find any last sold prices on the uh, 9.4 triple sign. I haven't found any last sold listings on eBay, can't find anything yeah. on Go Collect, but uh, not really sure. The, the one thing I did see was a 9.4 signed by Stan and that was going for 1100. So I'm gonna, oh, wow. I'm gonna ballpark it and say about 15, so. Oh my bad, I, th I thought you said 9.8 originally. <laughs> no, no, 9.4, 9.4, yeah. My, my bad. No, I, I wish still, it was a 9.8. I don't book. have this book in 9.8. Uh, I mean, my other uh, blue label copy is a 9.4 as well. And uh, just another really quick story. So when I bought this book, this book was at a 9.0 and signed by Stan Lee, paid 275 oh, wow. for it. And um, I ended up adding uh, the other signatures to it, and I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I... Uh, took the risk on getting this book pressed because I was a kind of a noob when it came to pressing. I was like, ah, I think it should be fine. I was, I was happy with the 9.0, but when it came back that 9.4, I was thrilled. I was pumped. And that's a giant jump. Like I was thinking about getting like the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129 uh, pressed and cleaned and also the Amazing Spider-Man 300, but I'm scared. So uh, you know the stories of sending the um, things to CGC during this whole COVID thing where they're like, looking at every single little thing and books are coming back either the same or uh, undergraded. Yeah, and um, you know, I, I mean, when it comes to that, when I've sent books off, there was a time where I was doing the private signing and people were like, oh, how can you send in that beautiful 9.6? You know, there's, there's that point where, you know, it could uh, come back a lower grade. And I got, yeah. I got to say, I've been really lucky. That's never really happened to me. And I mean, I hear there's like a 10% chance of that even happening of a book coming in a lower grade, but it does happen. It happened to someone in the community where someone sent yeah. in a God country and it was a 9.8 and it came back, I think a 9.2 or something. That is what that is scary that's, that's a huge gap that's, that's crazy. scary scary so yeah, before we see, uh, uh go I'm sorry, no go ahead buddy no i was gonna say um but you could tell the difference between a 9.8 and a 9.2 so that be, having that much of a gap is nuts to me yeah i don't i don't know i don't know what kind of journey that book <laughs> went through <laughs> during the cgc facility but i don't know so uh before we wrap up today's show uh dj why don't you uh, just quickly go through uh your 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 five uh, one more time so the five one more time my number five was uh savage she hulk number one first appearance of the she hulk number two amazing spider-man 129 first appearance of frank castle the punisher Punisher's uh, one of my favorite characters, top three characters probably. Mm. I love violence in my comics, you know that. Yeah, me <laughs> Just too. like you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them all. Uh, number <laughs> three, Amazing Spider-Man 300, first appearance of Venom. Uh, number two, Incredible Hulk 181, first appearance of Wolverine. 
And a Wendigo appearance. Let's give Wendigo some props. No one ever mentions the Wendigo appearance. <laughs> Nobody and, asks how the Wendigo's doing. <laughs> yeah. um, and Avengers number four, first Silver Age of uh, Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Very it's awesome, top- man. Great, great top five. Uh, my top five, real quick. We got uh, the New Mutants number ninety-eight, first appearance of Deadpool. Nice. And for my number four, we have. And Amazing Spider-Man number 129, the first appearance of the Punisher or Frank Castle. It's also the first appearance of the Jackal, but nobody really seems to care about him either. <laughs> we also have uh, House of Secrets number 92, the first appearance of Swamp Thing. And we have the Incredible Hulk number 181, the first cover and first full appearance of Wolverine. And lastly, we have my triple sign, Amazing Spider-Man number 300, the first appearance of Venom. So uh, some hot books were definitely dropped on today's video. So guys, if you like today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, so DJ, you're fairly new to the YouTube comic community. You want to tell the audience what you got going on in your channel? Yeah, thanks, Kevin. So mainly on my channel, I do um, hot toys reviews, comic book mystery boxes, uh, unboxings, and I've started getting into Funko Pops for better or worse. I'm spending and wasting money on Funko Pops, believe it or not. So that's mainly what we got. I'm actually, I'm gonna um, start doing retro reviews. So in my boredom, I went on eBay, went down the rabbit hole and bought some figures from my childhood. So you're gonna be seeing that soon on the channel. Yeah, so sub me up. I'm at about like 187 subscribers. So yeah, sub me up, man. So DJ, uh, I really want to thank you so much for being on today's show, and uh, it, was, it was a blast. So I'll have to have you back on. Yeah, man, thank you. And um, thank you for all the support. You were one of the main dudes or the main dude that um, looked out for me in the beginning, man. And I greatly appreciate the, the support. The comic book community is amazing, man. So big shout out to you, Kevin. Yeah, no problem, man. It's, 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 that's what you're supposed to do. You know, you're supposed to look out to, for, for the little guys as well. You know what I mean? So... I just remember coming in the comic book community and just, you know, uh, was like, is there anybody out there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's exactly how um, I felt in the beginning. Like, I did this just to pass time during the whole pandemic and stuff. I wasn't trying to, you know, juice up my subscribers or anything like that or even getting to this point doing a, a guest spot on a, somebody else's channel. And I'm super appreciative. I'm super humbled by the whole experience. Yeah, no problem, man. So guys, make sure you sub up DJ Links for his great content. Like I said, a link to his <laughs> channel is in this video's description down below. Guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment some feedback in the comment section down below, and lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to potentially win a free slab. So guys, thank you so much yet again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.